Wait, where's the maid? <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no maid. It's gonna be a. Dr <laughs> there's no maid. There's no maid. Uh, do I think Nepo will go E4, D4, or maybe B4? I think Nepo will not go B4 on move one. I think Nepo will probably be playing. Uh, if I had to take a, a pure guess, I think Nepo will play. A okay, let's start game one. We're going to play Criari. Okay, important that I got get off to a fast start, so I'm probably gonna ignore chat a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I think um, I, I think that what I would say. Wait, I made a move. What what just happened? Oh God, are we do, do are we have this glitch again? I just made a move. What's going on? I'm gonna have to open Slack and write a message to them again. Let's go C4 here. Let's go Bishop B2. Knight C3, of course, can play E4, Knight D5, obviously. I'm gonna go Rook E1. Oops, go D5, just trade, I guess. Plays E5, which is interesting. I'm just gonna drop back. Play knight h4 here. This should be fine. I have bishop h3 next move. I mean, I think this is pretty bad for black. It goes e4, which I don't like at all. Um, I think I can just play bishop h3 maybe. Go here, target the pawn. <clears throat> Looks pretty bad for, for black here. I can always just take the pawn. I have bishop f5. I think I'm doing extremely well here. And if he goes queen g5, I can also just take the pawn on e4 and then take the bishop on d7. So I should be doing very, very well here. Uh, Wesley will be here on the 26th, correct, you guys? On the 26th, he will be here. Yep. I just take, of course. If he takes, I just take. Off to a very good start. Um, please bishop f6. I don't even know what that does exactly. I'll just make a check. I'm gonna go knight f5 next move. It's knight f3, but I just go king h1. I mean, this looks terrible for black. Go here. He'll play knight f3. I mean, I can go king g2 or h1. I don't know which square is better. Instinctively, I think g2 is better, but I'm probably gonna go to h. Yeah. Does it make a difference? Is the question. I think I should probably. I guess I'll go to g2 here he has to move the queen and now i take and i open up this diagonal too i mean this looks so so bad for black i think he might even just resign here it's just that bad well i cover every match um uh more or less i will yeah i won't be starting right when the games begin i'll be jumping in two hours in because it's just 4 a.m just too early for me but I will be jumping in. Um, okay, I'll just take. No, no reason not to. Yeah, this is just over. I mean, this diagonal is crushing. Both diagonals. D6 is weak. I mean, everything is collapsing here for black. He'll probably just resign here if I had to guess. Yeah, he just resigns. I, I kind of expected that. Go here, bishop g7, of course. I'm gonna play b4. Oh, I played this guy before, didn't I? I played this dude. I played this ombre. I played him um, in title Tuesday, I think. CKG chess. He, he's, he looks vaguely familiar. I'm gonna take and go here. I don't know if it's right, but it looks reasonably decent. Uh, the question is do I play d6 or. I think I'm gonna go h5. I don't know if it's right, but I figure I can go d6 knight bd7. I don't know why I'm thinking so long, but it seems reasonable. I get the knight to b6 and just play the game. Kind of, I'll just go here and trade. I can also, I guess I have to trade, take, and take. d5 is hanging here. I will just take it gladly. You can take back and get the pawn on b4 into even material, but I should be pretty happy with this exchange. Knight f4, though. Hmm. That actually looks really weird. Maybe it's not so bad. Hmm. 
guess I'll just trade in castle. I think I'm just much better here. I have knight b6, I have c5. I mean, that's a free pawn. I'll take it gladly. Drop back, play e6, consolidate my structure here. I have rook b8 maybe next move. Go here. If he takes, I just take back. I have rook b8, knight c5, knight e5. This is looking extremely good for me. Should just be GG's pretty soon. I also can go d5, c5 too. I've got this in c5. Just terrible position for white. I think knight c5 is good. I don't know why I'm thinking so long, but let's just go knight c5 here. Just take rook b8, rook b2. Very, very bad position for white. He might, he might also resign very quickly here too. This might be a very quick win as well. Very, very good start. I mean, I can obviously just go rook b8. I'm just going to take next move, and he gets these ugly pawns. Disasterville for white. Yep, let's keep going. Two very quick games. Very, very good start and a very strong build. I really don't want there to be drama in this Arena Kings, so winning some games quickly is nice. Okay, let's play the, the four knights. Here takes. I have played this guy. This guy's somewhat dangerous. So here, Bishop G2. Here and just castles, I guess. I can also play d3. Okay, he does go for this. I mean, this is kind of scary, actually. It's a very computerish line here with bishop a3. I think Maxime Vashi the guard played this quite a bit. Very scary. Uh, I go c4, I believe, to hit the queen. Or sorry, Maxime Vachy Lagrave. I said Lagarde, sorry. I meant I meant Lagrave, not not Lagarde. Different different French dude. Um I can play Rook B1 next move, put pressure on the pawn. I mean this this I know this is not supposed to be great for black. I don't remember why exactly, but I just know it's not. I think F4 is fine. Or F3. Hmm. So let's just take the pawn. Why not? Oh, he does have C5 though. I'll go here, target this. I've I have rook b1 here. This actually looks kind of scary as well for black. Like, really scary. Big problems here. Isn't this just free material? Maybe I'm crazy, but this looks terrible as well. This could be another third quick win. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I just take with the rook. Not the queen because any castles out, but now I'm just up a pawn and I should just be winning. Very, very good start here. It's going to be a third quick win, I think. I just go D3, consolidate the chain. I don't... Ah, uh, he's trying to get some cheeky Rook A5. But you know what? I'm having no part of it. I'll just go Rook B5 and cut him off at the pass. If he trades, it's fine. He plays H6. I don't know what that does exactly. I'm just going to go Queen. Actually, maybe I just go Rook E4. I'm looking to play like Rook H4, Rook G4. This looks very, very, very unpleasant for Black. Could have done it right away too without A3, of course, but... Always easier after the fact to see what the best move oh uh, best moves are. Okay, I do have rook g4, but I think I'm just gonna be mean and play rook b5 here. If he takes, I get the three connected, just run them up the board very cleanly. Who's there? I mean actually rook g4 he has wait. Isn't his queen just trapped? <laughs> I just trapped his queen. Okay, three quick wins. Um everything wins here. What's the cleanest win though? I mean, everything is winning. This looks like probably the cleanest win. Or is it? Oh, what did I just do? Oh, just great. I just made a total hash out of this. Here. Plays Rook A1, which I think is a big mistake. Because now I got the Rook behind the pawn and I just escorted up the board okay so it's back to winning quickly doesn't matter I just make a queen okay three quick wins let's keep going I don't know what the bet was but I'm betting that based on these three quick wins there's very uh very likely that I'm gonna that I'm gonna hit that hit that 17 points or whatever immediately I mean how how deep are we in this event go here I don't know why I played b5 either. I should not have done that. Let's go here. Okay, let's go e6.
I'm going for c5 immediately here. I'm not even developing my king side. Okay, castles. I mean, c5 is still a pretty good move. I think I still should play it. Let's go here. I mean, I can play c4. I don't love it. I don't. I don't really like. My, I actually don't like my position in this game. This is pretty ugly. Uh, let's go here, I guess. Maybe bishop f8, bishop e7 with bishop h4. Not a, not an ideal position. Yeah, one of the best pairings I've seen with the start. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I can't can't lie. Oh, did I just trap my queen? That's great. I also should have taken the pawn too. Very very poor by me. Yeah, just like that, I found a way to blunder at the start. I should have taken right away, too. I, I don't know what I did this game. Yeah, right, right, I spoke too soon. As soon as I spoke, I just got my queen trapped like an idiot. Go here. Why did I do that? I was th I was thinking I was just not thinking there, moving way too fast, trying to rack up a fourth win. When already I was off to a great start. But okay, that's only one game, obviously, and he finds Rook C1, which is a good move too. Yeah, I just I, I basically just lose here. Garbage game, and I throw away all my points too. Yeah, I was just I just blundered G5. Uh, very very poor i'll still get to 17 but that was just just lights out bad now of course i'm gonna get a bad pairing i knew i was gonna get a bad pairing but actually if i win here i just erase i erase the loss immediately although i already played a bad order against peter too go here yeah this is peter Savidler. yeah it's thinking too long though let's take so here I'm gonna castle. This game I should actually not move fast. If I lose this one too, then I'm then I'm pretty unhappy with my start. But this is 3-0. There's no increments. This is much different than our match the other day. Um we have time to afford the loss, yeah, but it's it's kind of annoying to lose at 2600. Like 3100, it's annoying. But I mean that's life kind of, but to lose to like a 2600 just to get my queen trapped, very, very poor. It goes e5. I mean I can obviously I think I should just trade and play like rook c1 here. I've got knight b5, knight a4. I also have bishop a3, I realize. Um, what is this? Do I have bishop a3 or am I crazy? Again, I feel like I'm moving too fast. But, might work out. I have knight a7. Bishop a3 is a move too. I'm just going to go here on knight c6. Why not? Just play simple chess. Goes a4. Just go here. I'll let him trade. I feel like it's okay. It doesn't mean I'm winning or anything, but I feel like I'm doing well. Go here, target the pawn. I've got a great center here, too. Yes, I am. I should be covering... We'll be covering it here on our channel. Um. Oh, uh, this is a problem. He's trying to make a draw with queen b4. Big problem. Can I play h3? I can. I'm gonna do it. This might be a little bit sketchy. Maybe more than a little bit sketch. I don't know why. Why did I do this? Still up a lot of time on the clock, though, which is what matters. Place d4. Interesting move. Um, go bishop f1. What's his idea? Is the idea to play e4? I'm a little confused. What is his idea? Because the e4, I have rook e3, I thought. Oh, he's got knight d5. And as usual, I've, I've made a mistake. And now I should just focus on maybe making a draw, but I don't really want to. Let's go here. I'm going to try to do something weird. Time is evening out, though, so it's still good. Let's go here. I can take and take g6. That's my idea. If I get g6 with this pin, it's pretty bad for black. I don't think he actually has a choice, kind of. 
Okay, maybe go rook d8. Maybe. Peter's really thinking for a long time here, so I'm not sure what he sees. If he does go there, the take. Whoops. Go here. Hit the queen. I mean, I have rook e3. I also have rook c8. Um, how do I do this, though? Let's go here. Force a trade of rooks. Of course, this wasn't the right way to play it, naturally. Um, go here, maybe? Takes, I take, and I have queen d2. I mean, he takes, I take. Thank you, appreciate it. Th thank you so much. Um, you need a Hell's Fire stream as well, thank you so much. Okay, so I, I am much better here. I don't know if I'm winning, but I, I should be much better. Trade. Go here. Queen g5. Okay, lot. Wait, is this a pawn? Is queen d2. Of course, Peter is a very strong player, very resourceful, but I can go here and bishop e3. And now, now I win the game, because, I mean, I put the bishop here. I can go king h2. I can go f5, but that doesn't really do much. It's just good. Actually, actually, go here. He can play h4, but I just take, I think. It goes queen a8, but now, now after I get this blockade, it's just over. Now I just start pushing the pawns, and he resigns. Let's keep going. Good win. Thank you, Lars Boogie, for the 12 months. Thank you so much, Lars Boogie. Appreciate it. Good win. That pretty much offsets the previous loss for the most part. Um, can't complain so far. Let's. Oh, now I get Gata. Another nasty pairing. Plays more B3 nonsense. play this one so I'll go b4 c5 of course it okay, got us in for a long time here too I'll go c5 probably has to go d5 here and then I go like b5 maybe very weird position it goes b6 that's a original move by Gata very original move I don't think I like it though because he's not really getting this I'm getting rook c1 a lot of pressure here Speaking of which, by the way, speaking of uh, speaking of Nigel's tweet yesterday, also, even if it wasn't aimed at me, it could definitely be aimed at other people like Gata. And I think it's also, that's another reason it's just so disrespectful uh, what Nigel what Nigel did. Let's go here in Rook D1. So, yeah. Okay, it goes D5, which I think I'm happy to see. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I guess... How do I play this? I think I'm gonna go 91, 93, maybe rotate my knights around. So here I obviously will play g3. Uh I think I go g3, bishop f1, g2. This must be the right setup. Bishop a6, just a3, of course, consolidate the pawns. Okay, he's trying to get the bishop in. Probably I'm gonna go bishop g2 or bishop h3 here somewhere. I don't quite know where. Maybe already here. Actually, let's just go bishop g2. Let's keep it simple here. Plays h5, very logical. I think I'm gonna go knight c5. I'm actually playing too fast here, I feel like. Now, if I take with a b pawn, bishop f8. Actually, I can take because I have f4 here. I have f4. He can't go bishop e5. Go bishop e7. And now I think I smash the center immediately, try to open up these long diagonals, basically, open up everything here towards h8, and I should be doing very, very well. Did Short delete the tweet? Uh, I don't think he did. No. He pinned it. And he also, I think he detoxed Godfather for the night. On top of pinning it, he also apparently was like subtweeting and then he deleted it. He was subtweeting comments that were bashing me. He, he started liking and subtweeting them. Uh, he deleted them, but of course, uh, everybody noticed. He goes D4, which is probably a very good move. I don't know why I allowed this. Can I maybe sack material? It's kind of exotic. Not great, though. I think I'll go... Let's just go here. If he takes, I take. Don't let the irrelevant haters get to you. Well, the thing is, Nigel was a very good chess player. I mean, he's a very prominent figure within the world of chess, so it's very sad to see uh, to see things like that. Like, I mean, I think a lot of people forget how good Nigel was. I mean, he was a world championship contender. 
I mean, sure, he wasn't good enough when he played Gary, but I mean, he was a world championship contender. Uh, I do have E5 here, maybe? Wait. Go E5. I do have E6 as well. I mean, this is kind of icky. Also take... What's going on? Um, I'm in the mood. I'm really in the mood. Let's just sack. I'm in the mood. I'm feeling it. I feel like I'm doing well. I've, I've, I'm off to a good start. Let's let's play like uh, Mikhail Palwood. Actually, this maybe it's just good for me, in fact, because everything is really loose here. He's also got to contend with diagonals. Like, I have queen f4 here. I mean, this looks terrible. I hit this. It's classic right. It's a right triangle again, of course, as always. He just he just resigns. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're off to a very, very good start. Very, very good start. Um, he, those The last couple of wins have actually already offset my loss. So, very, very good. Maybe a spotty bananas for the prime. This is a, real, a really, really good start. Okay, I'm going to play E5. I'm going to make Peter prove that he can beat me. If he wants to make a Berlin draw, so be it. But I'm going to make him prove it. Let's go here. Take. Plays knight bd2. Okay, knight bd2. I think bishop b6 is still the correct move. A bishop f5 here. Just castle. He probably can go knight e4. He can also play queen f3 here. Plays queen e2. That's a reasonable move. Nothing too exotic here for either side. Knight a5 is actually. What about knight a5 here? Did I just blunder? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. If he goes b4, I just take. Okay, knight e4. Just trade. Probably queen g6 next move. But he takes with a pawn. Actually, that's a good move. That's a good move. I don't know why I allowed this. We'll go here to hit the bishop. Probably h6 at some point. Go here, maybe attack the knight. He'll probably go knight f3 back. Very, very dry position, though. I have bishop h5, maybe. Just h6. Extremely dry. Super dry. Well, he's got some weird a4, a5. What is this? Okay, h4. Why did he delay and not do it right away is the question. This might just be unpleasant too, though. I can play h5, but I don't like it. I can play... Huh. I did something wrong for sure. And try h5 but again we're, we're playing 3-0 so i should just as long as i can keep the game going even if i'm worse i should not really be in too much danger i just have to keep the game going go a5 there's a3 okay so i think what i need to do is i need to get the king out of the way i need my knight on a better square too Let's just go here maybe double up makes a lot of sense I'm gonna move my king out of the battering line with f4 type stuff. Obviously trade at some point. I think I'm gonna try to reroute my knight now. And always trade on b4 and play like c5. Okay, let's just take. I don't like this pawn is annoying me here. Um now do I take with the pawn or the rook is an interesting question. I'm gonna take with a pawn. Just go for imbalance here. Go here, maybe knight d7, f6. I don't know if this is actually great. Go here, knight f6. I'll go here, hit the pawn. You know, three very logical move. Um, I can go bishop a7 if I want. I guess I'll just actually just wait. I kind of I kind of want to see what his move is here because I don't I don't know what his next move is. So I'll go here. Maybe b5, maybe just back. Actually, that's a good move. Maybe queen d7 a little bit better. The thing is that time is what I have to be. Be, uh, really careful on if I can get us down to about 30 seconds each I'm gonna win this game and yeah, I should not have allowed this either Let's see what he does here the King h3 is a very interesting move I'm gonna go here I want to go Bishop b6 or something okay actually I allowed this very careless by me very very careless now I kind of have to bail out if I can. To get this. Wait, what is G5 exactly? Go 
go here. Go here, try to trade some bishops. Time is getting time is getting close now. So it's getting a little bit tricky for white. Go here, force bishops off. He missed bishop b6 for sure. I think I'm gonna be able to flag Peter here. It's gonna be tough for him to play. He definitely missed bishop b6. It's a very tough move. Now yeah, time crunch is coming up now. The time crunch is definitely here. Who's there? I mean, I just have check and take. I have g6 here. Yeah, this is the. I mean, Peter's gonna lose the game. I mean, time is just too, too much of a factor. And this is why 3 1 is, is very different. 3 1, Peter would have been fine in this game, but in 3 0, just too much. Actually, why did I go over to eight? That was an awful move. That was an awful move by me. Now I'm gonna have to go for some kind of swindle with Bishop D4 or something. Still good, but. Of course, I blundered this too, naturally. Why did I do that? He's going to be able to make a draw. Uh, draw is fine. It's okay. Ugh. Terrible. Still fine. Still fine. Yeah, the draw doesn't ruin the bet, does it? Does the draw ruin the bet? I actually, I probably should not have taken the pawn, I think, in retrospect. I think that was a mistake. Oh, wait. Now I'm playing Jobaba. I didn't even realize what I was playing. And why am I playing a mainline Shveshnikov? Okay. I guess I'll play this one. Let's go here, just cast, just keep it as simple as possible. I don't normally play the Shvashnikov, cost. So I'm a little bit confused as to why I'm suddenly playing it. I need within three minutes. Oh, I need a win. Uh, win is what, 17? Let's go here. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I'm going to go G5. I'm sure this is a bad move. But you said I need a win within three minutes, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to play wild chess because of that. Okay, let's just go. Can I play f4 here? I actually don't know if I can. I think I'm just going to develop. Rook b8, I've got a 4 Got to go fast. Um, I can play like 94 here. I can also take, go here. I mean, this is weird because I'm in a situation where like I want to, I want to like win fast, but actually moving instantly is very poor because I'm playing as a very good opponent here so I'm kind of just gambling that like by moving really really quickly something good will happen yeah this is pure YOLO by me this is not how I would normally play this this is pure YOLO problem is Joe Bob is actually thinking which he, he should be thinking um but he's thinking so there's almost no way I'm gonna win this in three minutes I, sh I should have, yeah, I should have won that game against the Viddler. I win that game against the Viddler, it's all very different. B6. I take. Go here. I've got Queen F2. I've got Knight F2 tricks. This actually might be really bad for Jobava. Yeah, I found Queen E1, which is a good move, too. Um, How do I do this? Shoot, I don't see a quick way to win here. Um go h4 why not seems like a reasonable move let's go here i mean i have g3 h3 i mean i feel like something's gonna happen game is going way too fast as well c5 okay if i go g3 i mean we're actually we're both blitzing so fast that this is uh this is really really bad i'm gonna go over h7 uh why am I moving so fast? I guess I'm trying to do it for you guys, the bet betters, but this is so questionable by me. Go here. How much time do we have? Do we still have time? Okay, let's take, let's go here. I have time, 30 seconds, okay. He might resign here, actually. He might resign. 
He's lost. He might just resign. Come on, please resign. He has no moves. And now I check. He's going to resign, I think. He's got to resign, right? He resigns. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Next game. Okay. Play Knight F3 here. Maybe Interspace Cowboy for the seven months as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Which one? Um, if they don't see the check, capture the king. If they don't see the check, um, I don't know what that's all about. Actually, I, I mean, I literally have no idea. Okay, so plays there. So I guess I'll play h3, kick the bishop back. I guess let's go queen here, maybe. I don't think this was a good move, by the way. Uh, yeah, so, um, King, I mean, I don't know if it's okay. I'm actually very happy. Now, now I'm in cruise control again. He's got an Isolani pawn. Very, very tough to play. Let's go here. Probably I'll go knight d4, just consolidate here in the center of the board. Maybe queen d3, maybe queen c2. Just be a little bit careful how I play this. Let's go... Here, maybe queen two. Feels a little bit dubious. Just a little bit. I guess I'll go here, try to reroute my knights, basically. If I can get this knight to f3, then I've got the exact dream setup that I want. So, should be happy if I can get that. It goes queen h4. I think I can play queen f1 here. Now if he takes, I take, and I'm getting knight f3 no matter what, so I should be very, very happy here. He's Turkish, yeah, he is Turkish. Okay, now I get my knight to f3, and now this is exactly what I want. This is the dream. Okay, what's he? He's thinking way too long here. I don't know why. Let's go rook c1. I mean, a lot of pressure. If I take and play knight e5, what's he have? Nothing specific. Knight e5, rook d6. Still not easy to prove. Play queen b5, maybe. I, I don't know if g4 is really a threat, so I'm just going to go a3, b4. I don't really see g4. Oh, I knight f5. What am I doing? Oh, well, actually, he allows it anyway. That's why you don't play the move immediately. You let your opponent think they're fine and blunder it on the second go. And now it's actually much stronger, too ironically thank you to chess for the 23 months thank you to qso qso for the prime okay take yeah now it's just a disaster just a complete disaster right, bishop d4 i have 95 just trade off the juicers simplify the position to where he has no play i have 95 with the fork if he goes g4 go here and just take the pawn very very clean take the pawn Take with a rook or take with a pawn. I don't even know which one's better, but I'm just going to take with a rook and go back, I guess. There's f5. Okay, now my knight gets back in the game. Let's just go here. Knight f3. Queen b5 also. Very, very happy times. Happy times indeed. Let's take. I have queen c4, of course. Force queens off the board. Should be completely fine. And we're just going to win this game very soon. He might also just resign. Probably he won't, but we'll see. Okay, let's go here. I have knight f3. So, uh, that's kind of a good move. Let's just go knight f3. Knight c4. I will just take the pawn. Thank you to it's ya and me for the... Um, go here. I don't care. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate it. Knight d5. I go knight d4. Knight resigns. Let's keep going. I'm on something today? Not really. I was completely lost in the previous game, so... Just chilling, chilling as always. Chilling as always. Oh, wait, it's my move. Okay, let's play e4. Now I'm gonna slow it down against Yobava. Let's play d4, e5. Play h4, bishop d3. I'm gonna play something very, very slow. Actually, I got a winning position last time that we had this. So, I mean, I, I don't believe it. 
Go here, of course, stop night before. Go here. Go here, I can just castle, of course. I can also play B4, maybe, but I'm just going to castle. Maybe I should have played Bishop G5 first. But I think this is always just generally very, very pleasant for white, especially with Knight F4 here to hit the pawn. I take. Now I feel like, again, I can just go back, and I feel like there always are tricks. Although he's got this idea. I don't know why I allowed this. B4 is maybe better as well. Uh, this is actually not what I was hoping for. Let's go here. We'll get Knight C4. I'll go like Rook B1 or Rook B1. Keep it very, very simple here. Maybe put the Knight back on F4. I probably should. Go here. There's no Knight E3 tricks. Now, the question is, how do I play this? I can go A4 maybe. What is wrong with A4? You can't, if Queen B3, I have Knight C1 maybe. Oh, there's a trick here. Wait, so I have to move my King. So you have queen d1. I go here, attack the queen. He has to go back, and now I go b3. The whole point was he could sack and play knight e3 with the clean force. And I go b3. Knight a3. I mean, maybe this is okay. This looks really weird. Go here. Oh, knight a2 is maybe better. Knight a2 would have stopped bishop b4. What's happening? Let's think about this. Here, I can just take i guess oh did i just blunder i think i did let's see bishop b4 knight rook c1 Ugh. go here take maybe i didn't blunder somehow everything's just barely holding bishop b4 i take that looks wrong because now i have rook c2 that looks very wrong actually you know, Slim Marty for the five months. Thank you so much, Slim Marty. If he takes, I just trade. My knight covers E1, so there's no funky business with uh, with a queen E1 check. A uh, timer and leaderboard. Well, that's just right over here. But we're we're in very good shape. We have 20 points. Uh, currently, we're in like 15th, roughly, which is completely fine, of course. Now the question is, how do I play this endgame? Do I trade it all down or do I not? My instinct says that I probably should not. So I'm gonna go 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 knight G5, maybe. Yeah, let's go knight G5. Start, start getting all up in there. Um, try to maybe play queen f3. Not really sure it makes a whole lot of sense why I did this, though. Okay, I guess I'll, um, I'll move my king. I don't know if it's necessary. Great. I can obviously take if I want to. I'm actually not going to take it. I'm going to go rook a1 and maybe knight f4. Maybe I should go rook a Actually, let's go rook h1. Let's just go g4, h5. This might not be good, but it's... Oh, that's a good move, yeah. Go here. Not that this does anything, because it doesn't. Okay, it goes back. I'll go here. Probably just going to be a draw. I don't really have anything special here. Hmm. I can play not B4. I can also go 91, maybe. I think I'm going to go here. And just king f1 and just kind of wait. He plays that, which I thought was a mistake. I can go here to hit the rook. Go here, I guess. I have knight e3. The bishop. Go here. Trade the rooks off. Not very special to, for sure, but let's just play the end game. Let's just draw the end game. Move on. I don't like my position. No need to get no no need to get super creative here. We're doing completely fine. Better to make the draw than then take the owl oh wait i actually i missed that Yikes. okay let's go here might be seven maybe it actually could be quite scary i realize time is quite tight oh, i was gonna do this now i just blunder this shoot here now i just blunder this too what is wrong with me today here oh uh, let's go here maybe and take oh did i just blunder this too i did didn't i
Oh, then I blundered. Ay, ay, ay. Gotta move, I gotta move. Too slow. Oh wait, that doesn't do anything. What am I doing? Too slow, just too slow at the critical moments. I should have made the draw there. Terrible game. Maybe a lucky emblogy. I'm actually not doing great. This is actually not this looked like a really good start, but it's getting it's getting a little bit tense. Still fine, but it was just a bad game. I was way too slow at the critical moment. I should have made the draw early. A good? Okay, get banned, dude. Um, seriously. What do you mean good? Like seriously? Good? There we go. All right, let's take with the pawns. Go here. Twenty-three ninety-seven should win quickly here. Okay, let's move quickly. I, I need to win this game fast. Get back on the, in the right, 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 um, right trend. I was like the worst possible game to lose because it took five minutes. As, it took all six minutes as well. Really, really bad. Um, what am I doing? Let's go here. Um, go here. Just take and play rookie eight. You can play 94 next move. Um, okay, that's not a great move. I'll go h6, bishop d6, maybe next move. Maybe try to play on the diagonal. I mean, this is not a great position. I have queen b8, maybe to hit both pawns at the same time. See, uh, he goes 94. That's actually a pretty good move. I don't like this position at all. Got to keep going fast, though. Let's take. I mean, this is the sort of game that I really need to win quickly. 23.97. I mean, I'm actually not doing terribly, objectively. It's not so bad, but yeah. Yeah, I can play queen b6. I can play rook e6 here. Um, 97. Let's go here. Another position that I don't like. Not getting good position suddenly after that really fast start. So here I guess. I have rook e8, queen b8 maybe. Should have gone rook e8 right away, of course. Not good. Not good. Look what he does. He's thinking for a long time here. I also made a blunder. He could have played rook d5 there. Queen b4, I have g5 maybe, I have rookie 2. All these moves are very playable. Let's see what I can do. Don't like the position. It's really thinking though, which is good. Really, really deep in the tank. Queen c3. There should be some way to go after him here, but I don't see it. So I think I'm just going to go here. You go 94 maybe to four pieces. But he does. I need a quick jash for the gifted sub. Thanks so much to quick jash. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Okay, that's a blunder because now I get the fork. Hey, can I go here? And I just, I win the game. Okay. That's what I needed. I really need this quick win here. Important quick win here. Get back to 22 and now, now we keep going. Just need to win like three or four in a row to get up towards the top. Although actually nobody here, all the top GMs are not in there, not there. So I get another unpleasant pairing here, which I don't like. Playing Luca Moroni, who recently won an event in Cap Dag, I think was it? He won the tournament. Uh, he won the tournament in um, won the tournament in uh in um Cap Dag. I think he beat Topolov in the final, if I'm not mistaken. I think I think he he beat him right. Okay, let's just go here and take all pretty standard. Yeah, this is Luca Morani or uh, Moroni, sorry, not Morani. Um, with castle, queen d3, knight g3, all very standard stuff here. You play queen d3, knight g3, very, very normal. So queen d3, guard the pawn, maybe king h2, maybe knight a4. Probably not, but I'm just gonna go here and f4. I don't even know if I like knight d7. It goes queen h4, I'll go f4. If he takes, I can just take with a rook or the knight. 
F6, interesting. Go here. Go here, force a trade. This queen is a little bit iffy here on the edge. And I, I want to go knight g1, knight f3, maybe b4, 2, maybe knight b5, d5. A lot of options. Good move. Let's go here. Knight g1, knight f3 coming in. It's also kind of hard for black. Like, I don't know. Is he trying to castle this way or this way? Go here. Whoa, they get Uden Jang for the five gifted subs. Thanks so much to Uden Jang. Appreciate it. Okay, queen f4. Don't understand that move. I'm just going to go g3. I don't, I don't know if g3 is necessary. Let's go a4 here. I'm trying to figure out, is he really castling queenside or not? Might be eight. Okay, also a strange move. What's this idea here? Hmm, I guess I'll go here. Go here. I mean, he's really lacking in space, basically. I mean, he can obviously castle castle uh, queenside, but I mean, maybe he's going to the center of the board. I mean, it looks very iffy. Yeah, I guess he's going to try to go to the center of the board, but I, I'm, I'm ready for him with queen e2. If he goes g6, I just trade. He has no way to break through here. He goes to f7. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Let's go here. I'm way up on the clock, which is very, very important for this end game. Or middle game, I should say. I'm going to go here. Go here. I don't know if it's necessary, but it makes some sense. Go here. Probably going to rotate my knight back around to e3 at some point. Go here. Knight e3, knight c4 is my idea, depending when I can play it. There's knight g8, I think. I'm going to play h4. Now let's go here. I have knight c4 next move. Go here. There's g6. I'll just take. Um, I have to play this. I have to be careful how I play this. There's some danger here. What he does. Here, I'm going to go knight e3 at the right moment, I think, and then rook g1, maybe. So here he can't take because of knight f5 check, and I win the game. I'm probably going to play for g4 as well at some point. Let's just go here, I guess. Queen c4 may be a little bit better. Let's go here. Should have done it right away. Way up on time, which is also important. Let's see, so if I take, he takes, I take, and it's just no... Wait, if I take, knight f5 is no good. Takes, I just take. Knight d5, I take. Knight e3, rook e3 looks fine. My rook guards the pawn. He goes rook g7. This shouldn't concern me. Okay, he wants rook d7, which makes sense. Now, obviously, grab. I think I can just grab, because so I can grab this one, too. What is his idea if I take this one? I don't understand. Maybe I'm missing something here. An extra pawn. And if I check... Somehow he's actually dodging checkmates. I must be a genius. Go check. Oops, let's go check. Go here, force the rooks off the board. I'm up, I'm up 50 seconds, so it should be pretty clean now. Thank you to N Fonber for the get to something. Thank you to Elo. Thank you to Kyram for the seven as well. Thank you so much. Okay. okay, now I take and I have check. I also have Queen B5. Everything wins. So let's just make a check. Check. Now let's just go. I mean, everything wins. Let's just go check. I just resigns. Okay, let's go again. Okay, next game coming up that puts us up at 25 still just outside the top top uh, 16 pretty good pretty good stuff though all right next game let's go knight f3 let's play b3 another another soft pairing important soft pairing here need to win this game quickly too leaders are roughly 21 i'm at uh, or 31 i'm at 25 so if i can get like three quick easy games here then i'll be right back where i want to be well, this is my game against Peter in a second. Yeah, let's take over here. And play Knights. Ooh. 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 I don't know if. I... Why did I not just trade Queens? Hmm. Because Bishop about five. Interesting choice. 
guess I'll play... I don't want to play knight c3. I also don't want to really trade. I think I'm just going to go knight d2. Keep it very, very slow. Slow position, slow game. Happy times. Do I still do tournaments? Yeah, I still do play tournaments. Um, but I haven't been able to due to COVID. This a5. That, this, I think, is kind of the start of going in the wrong direction here. I'm going to go... Queen c1, rook d1, maybe knight f3, maybe h3 to stop knight g4. Rook d1. And obviously trade, I guess. Mm. Takes, how do I take? I guess I take with a bishop, so I keep an outside pawn. Not actually sure on that. Maybe I just take anyway. So let's just take anyway and create the outside pawn manually. There's still one hour left. Yeah, I mean, I'm still in very good shape um, overall. Okay, I guess I will trade. This is step one. I'll obviously trade here. Do I want to trade? I think I kind of do. Let's take. I guess I'll go rook d4 here to hit the bishop. And then bishop b3, guard the pawn. I just have to make sure there's no queen g5 here to hit, hit the g2 square. Let's see what he's going to play. About five. Okay, now I go back and I consolidate the chain, and now this should be pretty smooth sailing. Should be, of course, being the keyword. There, I think I can just take pawn. That's another free pawn. I will gladly take it, of course. So here I have queen e5 check, I think. Also h3. So check. If f6, I just take. I can play just h three or h4 depending on what he plays here probably h3 it looks safer oh i also queen e3 maybe that's better hmm. okay, let's just go um d5 is also like, d5 is definitely reasonable do i really want to play or do i just want to start running let's go here attack the queen if rook c1 i just trade go king here a pawn will always rule the day later on. So it's just going. Okay, I'll take. A pawn is really going to be very fast here, so I don't know how he's planning on stopping it. Not really sure how he's going to stop it. Let's see what he does. F6, I just take, or queen e3. He does play f6, which is a good try. If I take his king g7, I think I'll just go here and g3. Keep it really simple. Let's go back. Now e6 is weak. Now I go g4. Kick the bishop out. Here, collect the bishop. Okay, another win. Let's keep going. Vichy is not commentating with me. Vichy will be doing commentary for the official chess.com broadcast. Seven minutes to get nine points. Yeah, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. That's another win. Back to 29. Couple more quick wins, we'll be right in there. Hopefully, I can get like two more 2600s and all will be good. I need what five points in six minutes. Problem is, is, my score is not ideal, so I can't really, I can't go all in here and try to try to uh, berserk. I mean, I guess I can. 24 21 is pretty low, but yeah, I can try. I start off very fast, but I kind of slowed down in this middle part. The game to Joba, I think I drew, I drew Sevilla and I lost to Joba. That's what really broke the rhythm. I've got my kind of position here, though. This is definitely my kind of game. Problem is he's slow, so this isn't gonna this isn't gonna be a uh, this isn't gonna be a clean game. C six, I guess. I want H four, H three, of course. So here, knight seven, knight g five, obviously. C5, D5 is no good trade. I just take. Take. This is a blunder. I take and I take. Okay, now I'm going to win this game pretty quickly, I think. This is good. Now I have rook D2 and knight F3, of course. I might win this game quickly. This is what? This is one minute. I have it. There is a chance that I could get to 34. Outside chance if he just blunders or resigns here. So here, force works off. Although he, he played that, which is annoying. So 
here and force a trade. Could have played h3 too. Trying to win this game really quickly. Take. I mean, everything is winning here. Why am I thinking so long? I guess I'll pre-move it. It's a safe pre-move, I think. There's knight h3, queen g3. Hopefully he'll resign. I go here, go for the mate. How much time do we have? Um, how much time do we have? I could take a quick draw. How much time do we have? Four minutes? Oh, so there's a realistic chance. There's a realistic chance if I get the right opening here. I could also just offer this guy a draw to cheese, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna offer him a draw. That's too cheesy. Just for the bet just for the people who bet, that's just too cheesy. I can't do it. Sorry, you guys. I have to focus on winning the turn. That's that matters more than the uh than the sandals. Oh wow, he actually knows the line. That's very annoying. I guess I'll go here and then bishop e2. Castle here. It's a pre-move. It's a safe pre-move. Okay, let's just go here. Force a trade of the knights. Ikaru would never do a cheesy draw in a tournament. Uh, it depends on the strategy of the situation. That's what that's what it, that's what matters the most. Okay, I actually like my position here. It's a very very pleasant position. Rook one, bad bishop. Let's go here. Probably move the knight. I assume. Does not move the knight. Okay. Take. I really do like my position here. Let's go here. Angle towards the pawn. Rook c7, maybe. Maybe knight e5. Let's go here. F6, I have knight, knight c6 also. I mean, it's starting to look very bad for black. Here, let's take. E5, I'll just drop back. I don't know if this is the best move, but I don't want to get my rook trapped or something really nasty, so let's just keep going with the flow. Very tough position for Black to play now as well. You can see five, actually a very logical move. Actually a very good move at that. I didn't even see Queen C5. Why did I play Bishop E1? I'm kind of confused by this move by myself as well. Yeah, I just gave him queen c2. I don't even know what I, why I did that. Fraud. Take okay, and go here. It's going to be very tough to win this. I don't think I'm going to win this in time. I could always offer a draw to win the bet, but I don't know. How much time do we have, you guys? Let's go here. Actually, I might have just blundered the game. I think he just blundered the game. I've worked the 8 and worked the 7. 140? Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to win the bet. Because he just made a big blunder. I think. He made a blunder, but we'll see if he spots the way out. There is one way, maybe. There is one path where he can keep the game going for a while. Still should be losing, though. 59, 58. Saw it. Wow. He's still losing though, so it should be okay. He's thinking too long though. So he's 55 seconds, okay. Hopefully he just resigns. I mean, there's no, there's no way to dodge it here. I'm just winning all the pieces. And yeah, now he'll resign, right? He resigns. Yeah, let's go again. Good win up to 37. Just like that, we're right in the thick of things an hour in. Like two or three more quick, easy games. Like if I get the right pairings here in the next two or three games, I could already almost guarantee that I'm going to qualify. 
But it's gonna be a tough knockout, though. I mean, we'll see where where is Peter. I, I don't know where Peter is. I'm kind of curious to see how Peter does, because Peter's not a traditional Arena Kings guy, and generally in Arena Kings, at some point you have to make sacrifices where you play more, you have to play quicker and not as precise to try and get a streak going and win more points. Peter's not doing well. I mean, that's the thing. I feel like Arena Kings is a very tough setup if you're not used to it, because like you're used to just playing traditional blitz, find the best move, win the game. But in Arena Kings, sometimes you just have to gamble and play a lot quicker to get higher volume, you get more games in, and risk a loss here or there. You can't be all about playing precise. So it's it's kind of strange, but that's that's how it goes. That's why that's why I assume Peter's probably yeah he's probably not doing so well for that exact reason. Because you kind of have to just say just let it go. I need a JPG for the 18 months. Thing, so let's go here trade some queens. I'll play H5. He doesn't trade. Yeah. He should qualify. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But we're, we're in really, really good shape so far. Really good shape. It plays H5. I mean, uh, I got to just move quickly here. How do I move quickly? I don't know. Um, Not G5. Let's just move the king. Play, play the game. Let's move quickly. It goes there. Somehow I've got to get my pieces in. I'm again. I feel like I'm moving too slow. I don't even know what Night Cheat does really. Am I streaming Worlds on Friday? I'll be streaming the World Championship. Yeah. Let's go here. It's not a trade. I'll take with a knight now. Since he plays it this way, I'm gonna take with a knight. Oh, I actually kind of blundered there. Yikes. Hit knight h4, which I missed. But here, knight g4 is a big threat now. Now I hit the pawn. Knight f7, knight g5. Kind of iffy. I've worked here. I also have a5 here. Very, very iffy for white. I think this is getting very scary. My, my, these, these knights are really jumping every which way now. These knights are all over white's king. Rook G1. Go here. Go here. Now I'm threatening Knight G5, which is just winning the game. Yeah. These knights are all over White's King. Uh, I guess I go here and Rook D8. Now I'm trying to mate him this way. I mean, everything is... These knights are just killing his king. Thank you got Mate of Straw for the Prime. Thank you so much for Mate of Straw. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take. Let's go check. Take. This is just over. Oh, I have knight h3 also. He resigns. Let's keep going. Yeah, just like that, we're right in it. We're at 41. I just need to get like two more quick games, and then the rest will be, be a clean coast to victory, I think. Okay, another 2600. Very good pairings. Very, very good pairings right now. Okay, let's go C4 here. Let's trade. I'll go Queen C2 here. Maybe D4. I don't want him thinking so long. Actually, I shouldn't be. So here, Bishop D3. Why six ads when the game's not over? Well, I'm contractually obligated to run ads, and I am behind schedule. I am behind uh, schedule, so there is that. That's the first thing I would say. I'm gonna take. Um, I'm not. I'm not where I need to be on ads. So let, let, let me leave it at that. And I, I'm contractually obligated. It's not a question of like my decision. I, I don't have discretion. I like. I run ads or I don't. Like, I run ads and I get paid, or I don't run ads and I don't get paid. Pretty simple. That's just that's just reality. I'm sorry, you guys. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, I think I'm gonna drop that. Oh, there was a pawn hanging on d5. Why did I do this? Okay, I better better reset. Got a mental reset here. 
I mean, it's part of my it's part of my deal with uh, with TSM slash Twitch. So I mean, there's just no choice for me. Um, let's go here and trade. But of course, I mean, everyone everyone hates ads. Make no mistake. You can also use an ad blocker as well. No, I mean, I, I have no choice. I mean, what? I, I was supposed to, like, turn down my deal with TSM because because of that? I mean, like, you, you take the deal that you're offered by an org. That's just how it goes. Play A3 here. I mean, come on. Let's be serious here. You could choose to not get paid, though. Yeah, just, just not, not get paid. Sign a contract and, and not get paid. That's, uh... That's that's great. I I, I love I love I love I love where mine's at. Unfortunately, that's not reality. Maybe I'll go B four next move. I guess I'll go B four here. Open up the position a little bit. Maybe takes. I don't even know why I did this exactly, but I did it. Maybe I have ninety five here. Try to trade some knights. Take advantage of this weak pawn. Hmm. Thank you to Steve Award for the seven months. Thank you so much. It would be nice of you to get paid less, only that we don't see ads. Well, the only thing is I wouldn't get paid, period. So that's kind of the problem. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice to say that, but I just wouldn't get paid, period. Um, they can go here and Bishop A2. Your super value should, valuable you should force them to those conditions. I mean, in retrospect, maybe you could say that's true. But what, what I would say in general terms, let's go here and trade. What I would say in general terms about that topic is that you have to remember, I signed with TSM in August of, uh, I signed with TSM in August of last year. I think I'm going to go C6, August of 2020. And you have to realize at that time, like it was a very different landscape. I mean, I was not in a position where I could probably make any demands because, um, because there had been basically no stream, no chess players have been signed as content creators. I mean, it's just a very, very different world. So, I mean, it's 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 nice to say that, but that's just not the re not reality. Oh, great! I just hung a pawn. Lovely. Okay, maybe I can still take though. Let's take and take, I guess. Take and play queen c5, queen e7. Actually, is maybe a big threat. Go here. Pressure on the queen. Pressure on the pawn. Pressure on the pawn. All very, very good here. Yeah, free content and then complain about ads. Exactly. Let's take. So here, put pressure on all these pawns, maybe. He's playing very well, by the way. I, I have to give this guy credit. He's playing extremely well. Although now he finally blundered. Now I take and I take and it's over. You get a dizzy cow for the prime. Thanks so much. A dizzy cow. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Go check. Collect the pawn. He might throw a queen e8. Queen e8 would be a nice little spammer, but he's not going to do it. Keep going, 45 points, a few more games to go. Okay, let's go here. Okay, random player. Do I know who this is? I feel I feel like this guy might be griefing. Do I think I'm the biggest favorite for World Blitz Championship? I don't know who's playing, but I assume no. Whoa, they use CW55 CW for the 10 gifted. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're up to 45. I mean, we're in really, really good shape. A couple more wins, like three more wins, and I think we get to coast the rest of the rest of the uh, rest of the event until the knockout. That's all we need, just probably three more. Three more wins would get me what 12 points. I'm at 45. That gets me to 57. Maybe not guaranteed, but I think three to four wins is probably the magic number objectively. Let's go G5 and just take. There is no free stream, Milton Friedman. <laughs> Good one. Back to economics. Speaking of which, the market seems to be doing pretty well today, which is interesting. I guess the Fed, did the Fed do something good today? They must have done something good, right? Market looks pretty decent. All of tech is back up. So E4, knight E5 is good. Knight E3, maybe knight F3. It's all, it it's all looks pretty good. Um, Do I want to go E4 or do I want to play knight E4? I think I'm going to go E4 here. Maybe Bishop D7 it takes. Actually, Knight E5 looks pretty aggressive here. Looks pretty bad for White. Oh, low volume? Okay, low volume. Fair enough. 
a check. Drop back. Keep an eye on this diagonal. I also have knight g4 maybe as well. Bishop h3. I don't really understand. I think I just go here and take maybe. I'm going to take and go e3 check. I'm going to create a fossil here. Is that a Smurf account? Uh, I don't know if it's a Smurf account, but I feel like it's not. It's a second account. I don't. I, I bet this guy isn't even streaming, honestly, if, if, if I had to guess. That's like an honest take. I bet he's not even streaming. This feels like an account that's, that was made to greet. Go here, maybe just trade a knight h5. I can also take with a knight, I guess. Just my guess. I mean, it just it doesn't feel right somehow. No, I don't think it's a cheater. I just think it's someone on a second account. They need to Hickson for the three months. By the way, where is Peter? I don't see Peter. Oh, wait, he made a move. Sorry. Big queen b3. Just take. I have knight g3. I mean, everything's kind of open here now, so it looks, looks quite decent. Oh, that's a... Oh, 96 is a nice move. Or is it? No, I can just take and take. I just take with the queen here, maybe? I'll go here and take, I guess. He really does not have time here, actually. It's kind of hard for white to play. Take and take, I guess. I didn't have to do this. This is a little bit extravagant, but he's got 23 seconds, so I'm willing to take a risk here. Actually, wait. This is 94. Let's go here. And now I'm threatening to queen and make uh go here. The queen. And rook up one. That's just checkmate. Checkmate. Let's keep going. Another win. Up to 49. Good stuff. Probably three more wins. Three more wins, and I will definitely qualify. Thank you to the Waffle Wizard for the 12 months. Thank you so much. What is up in tech? Isn't NVIDIA up? Tesla's up? All, all, the, all, the, all the best companies in the world. Good G6 here. Go D6 next move. Go C5, Knight C6 here. Uh, maybe E5, Knight E7. AMD, yeah, AM, well, AMD and NVIDIA are interchangeable at this point. Uh, but I mean, they basically run together. They, 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 you, you live, you live or die by, by the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna do this again, even though I know it's bad. I'm gonna play 985. This probably really is not good, but I'm gonna try anyway. How much time left in the tournament? Uh, 47 minutes. Go f5 here. Takes. I want to open up the diagonal for sure. Let's just go here. Maybe rook e8. Go here. He doesn't have b4 yet because I can just trade. I guess I'll go b5. I don't know if b5 or b6, which one's better, but it makes some sense. I can play knight, knight c8, knight b6 here. Let's, let's see. What is, uh, what's he going to play here? Plays a4. I was kind of wondering if you could do that. Hmm. Um. Okay. Let's see. Maybe just go back here and take. I guess I don't like this, but I'll try it. The d3 is hanging. I have knight c8 next move as well. Okay. Let's go knight c8. Guard everything. Plays queen a4 here. I don't really have a choice. Playing this game very poorly. Go here on bishop b8, bishop b6 maybe. Go here, bishop b6 next move, maybe knight b6. I'm way up on the clock, so it should be okay. There's rookie one. I don't really have a choice. Let's go here. Laterally hold everything. Probably bishop b6 at some point. I'm way up on the clock, which is very important. If I wasn't way up on the clock, this would be very, very bad, potentially. 
boost there. That shouldn't really concern me. I think I can just go Gypsy 7 and Knight B8 maybe. I also have Knight B6 and then Knight B8 too. It's kind of funky. I can go here and then trap the trap the Rook maybe. Go here. D3, I guess I'll just move my king over, try to get the king close. Uh, I guess I'll just keep moving my king over. And now I can just take and take, and he gets exactly what he did not want. Now he gets a very bad pawn structure that's completely blockaded. Um, I guess I'll just go here and take. I mean, he's got no time, so I should be able to flag him. Go here, I guess. Consolidate. Okay, he's trying to get in here. I think I'll go here. Here I have bishop c7 now. Now his pawn is just going all the way down the board. So here a4. All right, you guys. I am gonna have to uh, run to the restroom very quickly, so I'm gonna run to the restroom. Uh, I'll take a very short break, and we'll be right back. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> Next game, let's keep rolling. Oh man, I take the break and I get the wrong pairing. <laughs> you always run that risk, kind of. You always run that risk. Um, I'm gonna play d6 here. There's a4. I'm gonna play bishop g4. I'm just knight f6, knight d7. Okay. It's a little bit different though, because I, I, I have knight e5 here. I can just take 95 maybe okay takes I'll just take back I have queen d7 97 interesting choice for Minlay to go into this because I'm not actually sure I believe it queen d7 and knight f6 I mean he's already played a4 so he doesn't really want to castle queenside either here what are the odds of number four versus five I don't know the exact odds but I would think they're not actually that I think it's pretty pretty normal let's go here Maybe Queen H3 is better, I don't know. Hmm, let's see what he does. Plays H4. Reasonable move. I'll go H5. Makes sense. Just cut him off here. I mean, if he tries to castle Queen side, he definitely can, but I don't really believe in it. Let's go F5 here. If K can get Knight F5, I should be better here. This doesn't feel like a min lay kind of position either. I'm a little surprised he played E4 against me, because it's not his kind of position. I'm definitely castling queenside now because the bishop prevents me from castling kingside. Will I share any good Black Friday deals? I don't know. I don't really do Black Friday. E5 is interesting. I don't think it's a good move though because I can just castle. And if E6, Queen E8, this doesn't look right. Castles, that's actually to be expected. I don't have d5 here, but I think I can just go queen e8 anyway. I don't really like what Minlay's doing here. He's still completely fine, objectively, but he has to open up the diagonal now and. What? What is this? Did he just miss that I don't have to take. Oh, oh, he's got Fish Bay 6. Whoops, I didn't even see that. Uh, now, if I take, I guess it's just a draw. A draw is okay here. Draw is actually completely fine. I I think a draw a draw kind of eh. draw is not great for either of us. I'm trying to think if there's any any way he can win here if I take. I mean I can also take f4 I guess. And then he then he takes I take and that for sure is a draw. Yeah, let's just take the guaranteed draw here. Let's just take the guaranteed draw. Oh I can't offer a draw. Wait I can't. Oh, I, oh, we were in the same situation. I can't offer a draw till move 20. <laughs> now, 
now I can offer a draw okay <laughs> same situation draw is completely fine of course doesn't matter um he has to take the draw if he doesn't then I go Queen c8 by the way I was gonna say one thing that's important to note is that um one thing that's important to note about this is that um chess.com for the Indian event that chess Super League or whatever it was they should have had an automatic no draw they, they should have had an automatic no draw before move 20. they could have manually just put that in and you wouldn't have had any of those issues so it's actually quite bad that they, they weren't able to do that for the event because that, that would have been the easy way because like in arena kings you have this no draw they just have it coded for the tournament that you can't make a draw before move 20. let's go here c4 yeah I've rook takes d1 and then queen c8 if he moves this bishop that's that's why so Yeah, I mean, a draw is completely fine for both of us. I don't think either of us really are that concerned. But you don't want to lose there, because obviously if you lose, uh, it's bad for both of us. Uh, he goes there. I will take and castle, I guess. What about ringing phones? A <laughs> good one. Go here. This is all pretty standard. Not not too exciting. Probably want to reroute my knight. Probably here in knight d3, maybe at some point, And just go from there. Probably knight d3, f3, maybe. Go here. If takes, I trap the juicer. I don't like queen a5 at all, by the way. It doesn't put the queen where it should be. Magnus and and, uh, um, and ne ne Nepo Mariachi are playing. Um, they're playing starting on the 26th. So not, not quite yet, but soon. Queen a5 shows a total lack of understanding. To some degree, yes. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Nepo Mariachi is playing uh, playing Carlson on the 26th, two days from now. Now I can obviously trade. I think Rook D1 is still fine. I'm willing to give him the benefit, or I'm willing to let him grab the juicer because I just don't think it works, but we'll see. I have six I really don't like. Now I go 95. This looks bad. d8 okay I think I'll go f3 here maybe take away the e4 square it's probably not best but it seems reasonable why not wait that's a mistake now I eat the pawn and now he's now he's gonna lose the game do I play, sometimes play real prep and hope no one sees it in blitz very rarely I mean that's probably the hardest thing for me is that I can't play my best openings like in some sometimes like against the Viddler I'll play some Berlin stuff which I generally do um do play normally but for the most part like I play all this d6 g6 garbage um that I would never play normally so it's it's very tough because I have to basically have two repertoires I have to have a repertoire for over the board and, <clears throat> and then I have to have a separate repertoire for online it's not I mean I think a lot of people don't realize that um so yeah it's pretty tough yeah I gave him this knight a3 nonsense I never should have but still should be winning Which is also why when people have asked me very oftentimes are people who say these silly things like why are the why are the VODs still sub only like that is part of it like not only do I have the DMCA to worry about but also the fact is if I play if I play real opening someone might see it and I might lose the game because of it uh and I can directly tell you that I lost the game very specifically in a classical chess tournament because of someone who had watched my stream so it's not a joke like people might think I'm just making it up but I'm not I lost um I lost the game to uh I lost the game to um to Wesley So in the Grand Chess Tour in Zagreb, Croatia. And it was 100% because I had had a game against Jordan Van Forest uh, in Title Tuesday in a specific line. And Wesley had imp Wesley improved upon that line. And that's why I lost the game. And Wesley had seen the stream. So it's not actually a joke. When people think it's some kind of joke or something, it's not. Oh my god. I lied Knight up 6 so bad. I guess I'll take with the Bishman go here. I don't really like this Bishop, but it should be fine. I'm also up so much time on the clock that it shouldn't matter. Wesley's still watching yeah of course Wesley watches all the time and good for him he should um I should wait wait a second let's go here maybe Queen f4 it's a little bit tricky I think I'm gonna go Rook g2 maybe if I take or do I go Rook g2 wait Rook g2. you have two Rook g6 King f8 I think I should probably just be safe. I don't know how to be safe though. I guess I'll take and take. Okay, but that that must be a mistake. I have Queen H. No, that's a huge mistake actually. Now it's just over. 
Uh, Wesley will be on the stream. He won't be here in person, but he'll be on the stream. So here I can take. I mean, this must be crushing. H4. So yeah, that's actually what I was saying. Is like people actually don't realize that they very they very frequently forget that like that's not a joke. Let's take, and I can just take. So I, that, that, that's what I would also say separately. So if people want to go back and look through all my streams to try and see what I play, they're going to have to pay $5 whether they like it or not because I'm not going to let them get some win in a classical game because of that. Okay, not a great pairing here, but a win here would actually be amazing. All right, he wants to do this again. Did I enjoy myself in Hawaii? Wesley cheated. No, he didn't cheat. But uh, but again, it's part of the game. And that's, well, that's, why, that, that's why I have two repertoires and why also partially why I don't just have the VODs completely open. If, some, if someone's trainer wants to go and look through all my bods, like they have to pay five dollars. You know, that, that's how it goes. You're, you have to pay five dollars per prep. <laughs> it sounds like a good deal. Hey, yeah, five dollars is very prohibitive. A lot of chess players can't afford five dollars. I'm gonna go knight c5 here. Play a5. Maybe I should just trade at some point. He goes there. Wait, wait. Is this just a free pawn? I think we're both insane. That's just a free pawn. We both didn't realize it was hanging. Very poor. Five dollars to beat Hikaru with a world blitz chat. Is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. Actually, why did I take the knight? I gave him some kind of funky H4, but I guess I have H6. And... Okay, Jabava just resigns there. I don't really understand why he resigns, but he does. So yeah, now I think it's pretty safe to say that we're going to finish in the top, uh, top, uh, top 16. Actually, Jabava's on 43, so he's kind of on the edge. So I think he's just like, you know what? I don't want to lose a long game. I'm going to resign instantly so I can so I can try to start a new streak. Uh, let's go here. Go here, knight d7, e5. They're all very slow. Go here, maybe. a6, maybe a6 here. Right, I guess knight c5, maybe just a5. I don't know if a5 is right. I want to go knight c5 here. It goes there. I guess I go here. Hopefully, I'm not blundering something. I think I have bishop e4 and g5. I also have c6 to trap the bishop. Oh, I did blunder this. Or did I? Take and go here. Just takes, I have knight d4. This is also weak. Not clear cut. Not clear cut at all what's going on here. I have c6, I have g5, g4, I have g5, knight f4 also. This is gonna get very wild soon. Go here. Oh wait, I just hung the pawn on e5, whoops. But I can take and take maybe. Yikes. Yeah, now I just hung a pawn and go here. Go here, this is actually not terrible. It's not ideal, but it's not, not as bad as it could be, I guess. Probably should have gone knight h5 first. Uh, it's not so not so great. He goes bishop c6. I'm kind of surprised to see that. Uh, because now, I mean, now, now, I mean, I guess a draw, a draw is okay. I'm not thrilled by a draw, but a draw is a reasonable result here too. I have to take... I think a rich rich and shan for the six months thank you so much to rich and shan okay I take this way yes trade i take probably a draw with correct play but i ever be two here to hit the pawn it's not so clear cut um he goes b5 i can obviously take the, no i can't take the pawn i'm gonna go here don't know why i did that actually i thought i had 94 but again he has 93 very very poor by me mm. let's just go here Knight moves, I go here. If he doesn't, I get bishop f8. Go here. Go here and bishop c5. I'm sacking a pawn here. It's not, not like great or anything. But I think I should have enough counterplay. Now, how do I take this pawn is the question. I think I'm going to go here. Go here. <gasps> He's got rookie two. Oh my god, I blundered rookie two. Jeez. That was so bad. Go here, I guess. That was so bad. Not, now I'm gonna have to go knight g eight ninety seven, and this is gonna be tough. 
I still think I can draw this, but it's going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, and now I've just I've messed it up completely, I think. Oh, I can actually go here, maybe. How quickly I can throw this game. Go here and take, I guess. Because I have rook d6. Should be enough to draw. Actually, I can just take right away and then take. So let's take and take, I guess. Knight e6, I just take, take, and then rook d6. Should be enough to draw. I mean, he's got to take, so I'll pre-move it. He takes, I go here. Go here, rook c5. I should be able to draw this now. Go here. Go here, I guess. That was a bad move, too, I think. Wait, now I've got this. Go here, consolidate. Here, I have rookie one, maybe. I mean, a draw. What's he have? He's got 30 points. And he's got 30 points. Have we made it? Is this threefold? When it, what was this? This is one, two. Okay, so this will be threefold. So, I mean, what are the standing? Let's see. I have 59. He's got 30. Got 30. I mean, take the draw. Yeah, I probably should. Let me just make sure. Is this three? One, two. Oh, this will be three. Wait, where's the draw button? There's a draw button. Okay, there we go. Let's keep going. Next game. Scoreboard watching. I mean, I'm just looking to see where I'm at. 59 is fine. Actually, for Renato, it's bad, though. I just realized because he's on 30. He almost certainly isn't going to make it in now. Because he actually loses a ton of ton of points there. Or a ton of time, I should say. Go here and here and take. Called being strategic? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I could have done something more there. But I'm still not certain to make top 16. I'm pretty close to making top 16. I mean, it's pretty close. Uh, what am I on? I'm on 60. I mean, it's pretty close. It's not guaranteed, but it's, I mean... I would say like 90% that I make top 16. Um, I don't understand Bishop D4. I just go C3. Doesn't look right. Just go here and C3 next move. I also have F4. Maybe I should have played F4 right away. Don't understand that. I don't think I blunder anything. I always have Knight B3 here. I mean, this is this just looks terrible for Black. 683 is crushing it. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have somebody in here with, like, a ton of points who shouldn't really be in here. But it means that somebody's uh, somebody's draw business began for other players just moving knights. Yeah, I mean, I don't like that. I think chess.com should do something about it because that, that shouldn't be part of it. Um, but, yeah, this looks terrible. I don't even know what he's supposed to do here. Goes knight h7. I mean, e5 looks very strong. Wait, I don't want to blunder here. This. Let's go e5, knight f3. I also have c3 to lever the bishop as well. This doesn't look very good. I'll just take. Vukwar is a strong play. Yeah, normally he's very strong, but he just misplayed this opening. Um, I don't really know why or how or what, but he's definitely made a total disaster out of this. I'm going to take a pawn. It's a free pawn. No reason not to. I mean, I can just go like... Okay, now he has G5. No, but G5 still is not a threat. So I, I can go B4. I can go back. I mean, actually, this... I, have, I felt like I had something here. Queen B6 is a good move. Shouldn't have allowed this, actually. I guess I'll go back, maybe? I've made a bit of a mess out of this. I should not have allowed this. Yeah, I've actually completely misplayed this. Or have I? Wait, no, I guess I can take and go here. Go King G3, I guess. And C4 next move, maybe. If I get C4 and I'm probably just winning. 
for the Nidus to go back. and try some F6, but I think takes are just walking back. Seems pretty safe. Okay, now, now I mean, now this should just be lost. I can just go like D4. I can just take, I can go Rook C1. I mean, there's nothing black can really do. All the counterplay is gone now, so I will go C5. And Rook D1. I'm just up a pawn here in a long end game. This is going to be very... Oh, now he lets me get the Rook to D6 even, so this should be even better. Let's go H4, H5. I mean, he'll probably resign soon, I think. I guess he won't. Keep going. Push the pawns all the way up this side of the board. Actually, let's just keep pushing. No reason not to. If he takes, I go Rook H1. I don't know if I should be afraid of that or not. Um, he has Queen A4, which is his only hope. But I can just go Queen D2 and stop it. I mean, I assume this is just mate. I have Rook H2. Yeah, this is GG's. Go Rook H1. And just, just nothing he can really do here. I'm going to resign soon. Let's go check. Queen G5. Rook H8, Rook H7. He'll resign. All right, let's keep going. Okay, we got the dub. Move to 62. Like I said, pretty much guaranteed. Doesn't really matter um, in terms of seedings, I don't think. I mean... Obviously, top 16 is the goal. I mean, I could play Min Lei. I could play anybody else. You never really know with Arena Kings. But someone's going to get an easy pairing because this 11-14 almost certainly is streaming. Um, but someone's going to get an easy pairing. It's just a question of who that who who it is. Let's go here in Rook C1. Let's go here. Bishop F5. Bishop H7. Tricks. Let's go here. Uh, can't I just take and take? That looks like a mistake. I'll go back here, keep a target on the knight, play rook d1. Very, very pleasant position of a pawn. Cannot complain here at all. Go e4, open it up. Chat, did he win title Tuesday? Title Tuesday was uh, about 24 hours ago, and yes, I did win it, but it's an odd question considering how long ago it was. Why do I play on orthodox openings? Because again, I can't play my main openings. There are only so many ideas in, uh, that you can come up with in, op in different openings that you can't, you can't really play it. I can't. I just have to. I have to play a lot of bunky openings, and uh, fortunately, I'm good enough that I that I that I'm able to make them work. But it's not. It's not easy. Not easy at all. Very very tough. Um, let's go here. Yeah, I think. I mean, e5 is a move. Uh, I think I'm gonna, actually you no. Know let's just trade and go knight e1 and knight e3. Okay, pago, 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 pago. Yeah, pago. Um, I'm good enough to. I'm good enough to play weird chat, weird openings chat. Yeah gonna go here create the blockade my juicers are really good a ah, very very pleasant position is it is that why top players don't play blitz actually that's a large part of it it's not the only reason but yeah it's because you can't you don't want to show your main prep it's very very tough okay i guess i'm gonna go here i don't know if this is the right square okay go here in 83 and now i'm very very happy i get the perfect blockade of the pawns my, my these knights are really really well placed they're jumping every which way i will just take and go 93 great position here great blockade i have rookie one this is just excellent go here knight guards the rook I can play f4 if i want i mean i can even just trade i guess because c5 is hanging here kind of actually it's not wait no it's not because then he has a fossil d3 let's just trade it down play a winning end game have i ever played main i've played my main openings yeah of course i have obviously um, but yeah, that is one of the reasons top players don't play a lot or like they don't even stream for that matter because it's very hard to not accidentally show something and you play a tournament. Oops, someone happened to see your stream or they caught the VOD or whatever. And it's like, oops, there, there, there goes the game. You just lost the game because of that. It's pretty gross in a way. Okay, I'm, I'm probably just winning here. I have queen e2, I have queen c4. Looks very, very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. I guess I'll just go here, try to trade some queens. G3, maybe knight f4 at some point again. At this point, doesn't really matter. Key is just to get some wins and just cruise into the into the uh, knockout portion. I think after this one, I'm, I'm basically guaranteed. There's just no chance that I'm not in. Go here, attack the bishop. I have 96 now. Let's take. And now, now I'm just up a pawn, cleaning it up. I can take here. I can also just go here, I guess. Because there's queen f7, knight f5. 
think this is winning. Yeah, this is winning. Check. Go here, attack the bishop. Is this actually winning? Wait a second. Let's just trade, bring my king back. Bring the king in, pretty easy. Get the dub, let's keep going. Up to 65, so yeah, one more and then we're definitely in. It's weird because I don't think I've played very well, but somehow I've only lost five rating points. So I guess that speaks to the strength of the players. Okay, now I'm playing Gata here. I'm playing Gata, and you know what? Since I'm playing Gata, I want to I want to play tough chess against him to see if I can prevent him from qualifying. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try to play tough chess here. Plays Bishop G5 again. Kind of weird. With C6, he just loses the tempo. I don't understand it. I think I can just go. Well, I can go Queen C7 maybe. Wait a second. Or just Queen C8. Actually, why not just Queen C8 and Knight D7? I don't understand. I guess he has Knight H4, which I don't, I don't love this. Thank you to Anonymous to get sub to Ginny TTV. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Go Bishop G6. I'm just going to castle next move, I guess. I can also play Queen B8. Just castle and King H8. Castle. I'm not really worried about H4. I can scoot over. So here, maybe Rook G8 next move. Pretty normal. I have A6 at some point too. I'm gonna play A6 and F4, F5 maybe. Complicated position. I'll go here. Okay, he takes. I guess I take this way. Actually, F5 is kind of problematic. That's come with something pretty soon. Not, it's not the dream. Isn't Ginny an IRL streamer? Am I crazy? I could be wrong on that, but anyway, um, yeah. King F2. I can play B5 here. What I really want to do is somehow get my bishop in. So I think I'm going to go here, here, here. And if Knight F3, I have Bishop H5, maybe? I also have F6 later. She's an IRL streamer from where? From Austin, is it? She's, she's with S hand, right? So, so knight f3, I go bishop h5 here. I can trade. If I get the knight to f6 and e4, this should be should be pretty good. Um, this work. I'm going to go for it. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't work. Oh, I'm a moron. I forgot that he could do knight e5. I only saw the other one. Take. Yeah. This is not what I wanted at all. Although he takes back, which is kind of interesting. Because now he can give me kind of weird I think I'm gonna actually sack a pawn oh my god Bishop hangs on d6 whoops oh, what am I doing okay I'm just getting tired now I just made a huge slip I just missed that the pawn was hanging kind of rook b8 maybe this queen c7 wait now I have knight g4 though wait wait this is still tricky I also have queen b4 I think I'm gonna go or do I want to go okay let's go check I mean, I'm still down a pawn here, but go here. I'm still up time on the clock, so maybe I can hope for some prayers. Go here. I'm trying to get queen h6. I'm trying to get something weird. Gotta will make it. Um, he will. 34. I mean, that's very low. 34 is what 60 right now. I mean, 34 is not a lot of points. Maybe he's on. If he's on a streak, yeah, he could. But I mean. I mean, it's tough. Very tough. Yeah, of course, Gata finds queen queen there, which is a great move. Um, now, the question is, can I actually do something here? I can go queen h6 and rook g6, maybe. The question is, is there some trick? I'm going to go here in knight d7. I'm trying to get tricky here. Like, I go here and then rook e8. Go here. And it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit dicey. Now he loses the pawn. I mean, it's a little, this is a little bit dicey for white now. White should still be winning. There's position under, he, oh no, he's in 90, he's 94. I mean, how is he? Go here. How, wait, how is God a qualifying? He's number 94. No, you guys are crazy. There's no chance. I mean, he has to win, he has to win like three games to get there. There's just no chance. Oh, not, that's actually a great move by Gata. 
Or is it? Or is it? Wait, I feel like I should have some tricks here. But I don't see tricks. Hmm. No, I don't have tricks. It's a good move, I gotta. We'll go here. He's also got 18 seconds, I just realized. No, just as long as I don't blunder, I'm gonna be able to flag him. I mean, he just has no no time. Numa, 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 yay. Okay, we got the win. Let's keep going. Next game. All right, another win. 12 minutes ago, 69. Pretty much guaranteed now. Not not a not a great score by normal standards. But actually, I have a chance if I win this game, I will be um if I win this game, probably I'll stop. Because that'll get me to 72 or 73. No one can catch me, probably. So actually, this is kind of um kind of important. Because if I win this game, I will be uh, I will actually gain rating points. Let's just let's just play a very slow position. Let's go A3 and B4. Gata is molding again. Well, I mean, I feel bad, but Gata was winning the game. Like, I, I mean, I just made a clean blunder, and he was winning. So it's kind of hard to be mad. Go here. I mean, I just blundered. That, that's I just blundered, and he, he he was better. I mean, he he had the game. He just didn't convert. I don't even know what I'm doing. This game. I'm playing this very poorly. Yeah, he's got a five, and I feel like an idiot already. I'm gonna go b five. This probably is wrong. Go here. I'm willing to let him. Sack. I'm willing. I'm willing to give up a pawn here. If he goes knight c5, doesn't take advantage. Now, do I go e5 or d4? Is a question. <sighs> I guess I go e5 because I have access points. I think I have two access points versus d4. If I go here, I only have one. So here, I here I have two options. So it makes more sense. And if he takes on g2, he has a free pawn. I go f3, and then I then I create the bastion on c6. So he goes bishop d6. That's a good move, actually. Maybe I should just sack a pawn here with, with knight c6. Knight c4 is also pretty reasonable. The question is, how hard do I want to try to win this game? I don't really want to try that hard, so I'm just going to sack a pawn. A draw is fine here, so I'm just going to, I'm going to slow it down to where I can't lose the game, basically. What will he do? Knight a4 is a move, bishop e7 is a move. He goes king f8. That's kind of a strange move. Um, go here. Put pressure on on the rook. Maybe I had knight a7 for a draw. I guess. It's gonna. I probably can't win this, but I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't lose this either. <laughs> Gotta said it's stuff like that that makes me lose respect for the guy. What is Gotta complaining about? I mean, he was winning the game. Just win the game. Why? Why is it? Why is he? Why is he complaining? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous from Gata. We'll go here on Bishop E1, I suppose. Oh, it's probably just the last pawn push? I mean, maybe. Well, I mean, what's what's he complaining about? He got a winning position. I blundered and he was winning and he couldn't convert. Go here, I guess. Bring the king closer here. Actually, what am I doing here? I'm not actually playing this particularly well. Go here, maybe bishop a2. Maybe I go e4. I'm gonna go e4 to open up the diagonal here. I actually really can't lose this position. Um, no, I just don't know why God gets mad. If God wants to get mad about flagging, then don't play online. I mean, that's it, it happens to everybody. It's happened to me plenty of times too. Like every, everybody gets flagged in online chess. But I just don't know why. I mean, if he, if he's really gonna be mad about it, then just don't play. Um, goes G5. Actually, I shouldn't have done this. I'll go here. Maybe F4. 
Okay, somehow I need to reroute my bishops. They're pretty good, but they're not perfect here. I guess I'll go here, consolidate. Oh, I could have actually taken the bishop too, I just realized. I can obviously trade and make a draw, um, but I don't want to. I kind of want to keep the game going. The thing is, I don't really have a good way to keep it going. I guess I'll go here to trade. Play knight b3, I can also just trade. Bishop b5 looks like the safe move. I just take, I take. It's actually kind of a little bit scary now for black. So I get bishop g7. I mean, if I go... Wait, this is actually a little bit scary, potentially. I feel like I should have something here. Go here. Oh, why did I allow... Actually, I should not have allowed this at all. I think I'll go here and take. Take, of course. Good take, of course. He takes with the age pawn. Interesting choice. I'm going to go here and king b5 now. I guess I'll go back. I have king b5 here. I'm gonna go b That's actually a great move by him. I should not have allowed this. Um, I misplayed this. I might not be able to actually draw this anymore. This is kind of scary now. Take. Okay, I can go h3 and trade off, and this probably a draw because for basic basic reasons, I can probably force... Oh my god, I just blundered that. Jeez. I also am down on the time. How am I still on time? And I'm going to get flagged here too, you guys. Yeah. Oh, he allowed a threefold. Oh, he went knight f4. He allowed a threefold. He could have flagged me there. He could have flagged me. Thank you to PostyBot TV for the seven months. Thank you so much. Thank you to PostyBot TV. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good knight f3. He allowed, he allowed the threefold. Ooh, Peter. Peter struggling in this Arena Kings. No, number 39. Ouch struggling go here okay i have 70 points obviously i'm in the top uh top 16 but i, I want to see if i can win this game play a good game tough tough this is very arena kings is surprisingly difficult everyone thinks it's really really easy but it's very very tough peter's oh did peter lose 50 points in arena kings today mm. yeah it's tough what is this Okay, is Peter just on tilt? I think Peter's just on tilt here. I think Peter's just completely on tilt. Because he just hung a pawn for no reason. I mean, he's still, he's still some... Actually, I should take with the bishop. Why did I take with the knight? Wait, I just made a big mistake. Maybe I'm still okay, but that was very poor. I just take with the bishop. Let's go here. Should be fine. Arena Kings tougher than Title Tuesday. I think Arena Kings is actually a lot harder than Title Tuesday. Arena Kings is very hard. I mean, it's very easy to forget. You just think, okay, you just play you play these weak 2600s. You just win every game. It's very easy. But the thing is, you, you have to get the right pairings. You have to play fast. You can't just play good chess. So it's it's tough. Yeah, Queen B6. I think I did actually make a mistake here somehow. Not somehow, but I think I did make a mistake. I, I kind of messed this up. Go here. Knight g5, I can probably still take. I always have c5. I have bishop d5 to create a wooden shield as well, so it should be fine. Get the wooden shield. This is a good start. Wooden shield is always OP. Okay, it goes 96, which I don't really understand. I can obviously take here. I can also take with the bishop. Okay, what's the easiest way to play this? Knight e6 actually just looks completely fine. So I can just take. I also have knight g5 here. And yeah, actually now he's just lost. He just blundered. I'm going to have to take and I'm going to take. He said that he thought you couldn't take the pawn, but he can't remember what you're supposed to play afterwards. Maybe. I'm not sure. Possible, of course. Um... But see, those are the, that's like those are those are the sorts of insights that when you guys talk when I talk about it, 
So, like, it's very easy to forget. Okay, now I can play Knight of 7 here. But I don't see any, any reason to be crazy. Trade the Rooks. Like, those are the sorts of insights that if someone goes back and watches a VOD, like, I could very easily, if I'm just playing classical chess, not playing online, I go back, I look at this line, I, I run through it, I try to figure out, is what Peter said true or is it not true? You know, it's it's one of those things. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take, of course. I mean, I don't, he goes there, I go here. I have Knight of 7, of course. Actually, I don't know why I went back to D5. It wasn't necessary. Kind of misplayed this a little bit. Wait, but isn't that a mistake? Oh, he's got H6, which I also forgot was a move, too. Actually, I'm finding a way to misplay this. I might lose this game now. <laughs> right on cue. Yeah, I think I'm actually just... I just blundered this game. Got careless, and now I'm probably losing. Yeah, I'm just going to lose the game. Okay, let's just uh, let's just pretend that I did nothing wrong. Let's go rookie one. Play like H4, H5. That's a move that hangs upon, though. Queen H4, but then Knight G5. Oh, does King G8 just win? I think it does, actually. Nice move by Peter. It's also why I should probably put the pawn on H3 versus H4. Go here. Go. Oh, what just happened? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I just blundered. Okay, well, let's keep going. Maybe I can flag him. Probably unlikely, but I gotta try. I gotta try for the memes. Go here. Oh, I blunder bishop d4. Yikes. He okay, misses it? Okay. There. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm completely lost. Okay, he's got a nice... Is this mate? Somewhere there's mate, right? Wait, where's the mate? <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no mate. It's going to be a... <laughs> there's no mate. There's no mate. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, that's that, that's kind of... That's kind of... um That's that's really bad by Peter. H2 is winning. H2 is just winning. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's um, that's classic. Actually, you know what? I could have run the clock out, maybe. Maybe there's enough time for me to sit out, and the game doesn't get counted, so I don't lose rating points. But who cares? Doesn't doesn't really matter, uh, since we're already in the top 16 anyway. Yeah. Check Rajabov's Instagram. Well, I mean, what am I supposed? To, what is there something that I'm missing? His, his, his Instagram looks very normal, you guys. What are you talking about? His Instagram looks completely normal. What you, why, why are you trolling? Um, yeah. Insta stories? Okay. I mean, I'll check it later. I don't, what, 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 what is it about? I don't understand. But yeah, two hilarious draws in a row. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, that's the end of the uh, that's the end of the first portion of Arena Kings. So we're gonna move to the knockout. Let me uh, let me pull it up.